G'day everyone, it's Din and <laughs> Spencer again here today. We are um, at our, one, of, one of our little favourite locations down the coast. We're off gridding it today. We're just um, trying out one of our new little gadgets. Now this is our little RM20.5, little Jayco Conquest, which we've loved. We've had for about two and a half years. Um, if I had my time over again, I'd still get this little guy. Like I've said in previous videos, it's small enough to be a big van, but big enough to be a small van, meaning you park it anywhere. Now, there was one one little concern when I bought this van, and that was this switch. This is the um, the bed switch. This was the electronic bed switch that um, you yeah, used to operate the bed. But the problem with it was there were so many little uh, settings and pre-programming uh, to be done. It was always a bit of a... Um, a bit of a nightmare to, and I actually should have shown you this demo when it was still in, but to um, put the bed down, the bed in this van sits on the roof and you raise and lower it over this dining room table that the camera's now sitting on. But you had to push the up, up button, hold it in for five seconds and the green lights would flash. You'd have to wait till those green lights stop flashing and push the down button. <laughs> he wants attention. Push the down button and the bed would lower all the way down till the table height, which was still a little bit too high. And then in the morning, once you've made the bed up again, uh, you'd have to push the up button, wait for it to flash, and then when it stopped flashing, press the up button and it will go all the way back up to the roof, back to about 5 foot 11, which was bad for me because I'm just a tad over that. A couple of times uh, while I had this switch, I, I think it was operator error more so than the switch, but I, I pushed the up button and before the light stopped flashing, I started pressing the down. And uh, by pressing the down button too early, I think it made the bed lock. And it was an absolute nightmare trying to... Um, reset it now there's there's all these little invisible buttons there's a little a little button here you can put a um a pin or a paper clip into to reset the whole thing or i'd do what i did and i'd turn the um the whole battery system off so after two and a half years i noticed that uh, a lot of people were having problems with these i only had it twice but a lot of people were having problem with these switches and they changed them over they went to auto electricians and um had other other switches fitted. Now I'm in a, um, a little Facebook group called, um, oh no, I'm, I'm stuck on the name, but I think it was uh, JK Conquest RM 20.5 uh, Australia. It's a little group there and there's a lot of people there that have discussed the problems and the issues that they've had with their van in general as well as the switches and other things. Um, but yeah, there was a guy on there that was actually making new switches for these vans and I'll give you a demo. Now this is the new switch, oh, actually I've got my little light on here, this is the new switch that I've had installed. Um, I think it's a lot better than the old switch, uh, there's no pre-programming. Pre uh, as you can see I've got the up and down bed switch, I've got the on and off button, and I've also got a um, USB-C and USB-A US USB -A charging points. Now it's as simple as this, if you want the bed to go down or up, you flick this switch over to the left and that turns the bed on. And from here, I press the button and the bed just starts lowering. There's no little preset switches and the bed goes all the way up to the top. How good is that? Look at that beautiful view out there too. Okay, now one thing that I didn't show you before is with the old switch, you would have to pull these seat covers over like so. You have to tilt the front seats forward and like that with the old switch, which was this one, you could lower the bed down to a point which was just above the table height. So I'll do that now. You see the table height and it would just go to about there. And that was the bed height. And I think that's about a meter. Um, and as you can see, I'm not an overly tall guy, but uh, I'm, I'm a six footer. You still needed a little step to get up onto this um, mattress. But now, with the new uh, with the new switch, it will go that little bit lower. I'll just have to raise it slightly because what I have to do now with the new switch is lower the table and completely move these um, uh, rear mattresses off uh, off the bed completely. Off the lounge cushions and put these under the table. The bed switch is still on and now I lower the table down and you'll notice that the table, the table, the bed will go right down until it's just touching on the lounge 
seated cushions. This now makes the table, the table, why am I calling it a table? This now makes the bed, the complete mattress height here, about 800. But as you can see, a six foot guy like me can quite easily just plonk on the bed. So that need for the little step is now gone. Yeah, and that's a huge difference. In addition to that, as you can see here, the bed frames actually um, come down to the seat cushion. If I did remove those seat cushions, I have noticed that that is what stops the, um, the bed frame lowering any further. If I were to remove those seat cushions, the bed will go down even lower again. Um, I have seen a few people with these switches and have uh, similar sort of switches make the bed go down here. I don't know if I... If I move the um, the seat cushions exactly where I put them, I suppose I could put them in the little bathroom. But it, to, in my opinion, it just makes the place a little bit more cramped. But for me, 800 centimeters, 800 millimeters, is um, is a good height that I can quite easily, as I said before, as I showed you before, jump on here and and uh, hit the sack. So I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, I suppose shorter people than than my, myself may want to consider moving those lounge cushions but again i don't really know if there's a really um handy spot to put them yeah and the bed goes all the way up again and i think by pulling my curtains out you'll see it just stop now it just hits and that's why they say don't put too much stuff on the mattress because uh, if you do that the little switch won't kick in now to make the bed up in the morning <coughs> i just push the magic button I always say, hey Google, table up. It's a bit of a nerdy old man's trick. I'm actually touching the button below. <laughs> okay, and then you just plonk these lounge cushions. There's a little Velcro backing there, back on. <coughs> and there you have it. A lot of people that uh, come looking at these little vans say, oh geez, you wouldn't have one of these. You would constantly make the bed and uh, muck around with uh, tables and switches and stuff but uh, especially now with this new switch this new U-Butte switch uh, it makes it so easy as you saw my bed is already made up uh, apart from the pillows which are up on the Luton uh, the Luton uh, the thing overhead the uh, driver's cabin so in, in one minute you're back to a nice little dining room table again okay now if I want to use the um, charging cable I switch this little switch it's a, it's a little three-way switch i think you call it switch it over this position turn a little button on and you can see it go blue and this means that it is now powered up and i can either plug a usb-c or usb-a and charge my iphone so i'm very happy with that and it works well i used to always go on holidays and stress about the bed not going up or going down more the bed not going down it's happened to us once we arrived at huskisson an hour down the road and the bed was locked in the up position and we almost had to sleep on the lounge cushions but um i did something right i pressed every single button combination i could and finally the bed went down again but it's good to know those days are over i don't have to plug in seatbelt things or pull out fuses and put them back in this little guy um seems to be hassle free <coughs> As I said before, I've had this little RM 20.5 for a couple of years now. Awesome little, awesome little uh, van. Um, by being on the um, Facebook website, there's several little tips and tricks. While I'm at it, there is another guy on this group, uh, Wesley. He's actually made up his own um, YouTube channel. It's called Know It All Jayco RM 20.5 Tips and Tricks, Tips, Tricks, and more. Um, now that's definitely a, a, a YouTube channel to tune into, uh, even if you've got a, a JK motorhome in general, but specifically uh, RM 20.5s, he's got everything solved, everything sorted, every problem that's possibly come up, he's got it sorted. Um, it's definitely worth subscribing to his channel because he brings out new updated videos constantly uh, and he's got plenty of other tips and tricks, so definitely jump onto that uh, YouTube site click the subscribe channel, click that bell, and um, you'll be up on all the latest and greatest tips and tricks from Wes. All right, uh, now, hopefully you enjoyed this little video. It wasn't a long one, it's just a bit of an update. Uh, if you like this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing with others. Any comments or feedback, leave them in the comment section below. All right, safe travels, everyone, and I will see you out there. Out there. <laughs> Goodbye.